hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Leap Motion Device Controller. I've picked this up from the stats for $80. It's got an Apple-esque box, as you can see, very minimalistic indeed. So let's see what you get out of the box. We've got a little seal here that we need to break to get it open. So we'll just get that slit open there. There we go, that's popping out. So there we go. Nothing in the top of the box, so we'll leave that to one side. And when we open it up, we've got Welcome to a Whole New World. To activate your Leap Motion controller, go to leapmotion.com forward slash setup. So at the box straight away, telling you where to go. And nice green sort of back there. So here we have it, the Leap Motion controller. We'll get that out along the back. Nothing there, so we'll get this popped out. It does feel very aluminium-esque. So bring that in a little bit closer so you can see it. You've got the Leap Motion branding across the back, as you can see there. That's got a rubberish feel to it so it doesn't slip on your desk. And along this side you've got the activate at leapmotion.com forward slash setup. And can we take this off? See, not that loud at all was it, but we'll keep that to one side because we'll need it to activate it. You've got the propriety connector along the one side as you can see there. It looks almost like two micro USB ports glued together. Along the other side, you've got just a plain silver finish and this LED lights up in green when it's on. And what this essentially has inside of it is two cameras shooting up with infrared rays as well. It bounces signals off your hands as you hover above them and then translates them into movements on the screen. So we'll have a look at it in a second. And anything else out of the box we have... Let's have a look. We've got two sets of cables here, it looks like, so we'll get that out of the way. And yes, we do. We've got, if I can get this open here, you've got the standard proprietary connector that we saw that looks like two micro USB ports glued together, as you can see there, if it focuses in. There we go. And then along the other side, you've got a micro USB 2.0 connector with a Leap Motion branding across the sides of both connectors. So you got that and you've got a secondary connector here as well, which is exactly the same to be honest. So you've got the Leap Motion branding across both of the connectors there. And as you can see on the USB 2.0 port with a green inner part, as you can see. Now, if you have a look at the property connector a little bit better there, you can see it's got a slightly greener insides to it. We'll put the cabling down for a second. Now incidentally this does work with Windows 7, Windows 8 and Mac PCs as well. So finally out of the box we've got the Leap Motion information guide or important information guide. Just contains health and safety information, warranty information and what you can and can't do with the device. So we'll leave that inside for hopefully a boring time. Installation only takes a couple of minutes. You just plug it into your computer, let Windows install the device drivers, then head over to leapmotion.com forward slash setup, download installer, and then away you go. As you can see, it's taken us straight through to the orientation software setup. So let's see how well it detects our hands and fingers. That's a little bit airy, isn't it? I haven't moved my fingers completely away at the moment. But as you move it into, in front of the, or on top of the, <laughs> that's really weird, leap motion controller. That's working fine. Hands completely away, let it go down. We've got another orientation screen here, so bring my hands in again take my hands away now we're going to see what it sees All right, so hands aren't nowhere near it so bring my hands in that is freaky. I'm a little bit worried my left hand, hand is missing a finger every now and again. I don't know if that's because I'm too close to it maybe. If 
I leave my fingers, one finger there. How cool is that? Maybe with my thumb, my little finger. Do this side, ah, oh, that's freaky. I do love that. Move my hands away. Okay, so we get a drawing lesson, so hands in. I'm not a very good drawer. Stops drawing when you move backwards. We've already had a stab at orientation, so I want to have a go at cut the rope, see how well this plays with a leap motion control in front of me so you can see moving my hand in front is moving the cursor around on the screen I don't know if you can actually see that actually hopefully you can see it there and let's see how I can click on stuff do I go down point forward yeah it's actually forward so I'll move the leap motion control a little bit forward so what I'll do to go on my fingers there. Which one's it using? I'll just use that one. So it kind of goes green when it's clicking on something. So let's see. How cool is that? So yeah, so we go next. I have to go forward to press next. It's not the most intuitive thing in the world to begin with, so let's have a look. He gets it. Okay. So green, let's have another go. I think I'm going a little bit hit or miss to be fair, but... Oh, I'm going to lose this. Yeah, I thought I did. Try that again. Gotcha. I can see it being very useful, but you would need to master the controls, as in which way to turn your hands, how sensitive it is, whether or not you need to have your hands down here near the desk or up high to get best results. It's going to be a little bit higher than where you'd expect it to be to get a good result, but that can be very useful indeed. But that's been a quick look at Leap Motion Controller or device you could call it $80 from the States. Links will be in the description if you're after one as well. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a lot what you saw. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. Doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.